Okay, let's try this um, question that's kind of a reduction problem, and then it's using one of the trig identities. Now, each one of these things here, the cosine of 350 degrees, you've got to go to where it is. You've got to go to where it is, which is 10 degrees short of 360, and that's the reference angle, and cosine is positive there. You've got to go to where 140 degrees is, 40 degrees short of 180 in the second quadrant, the reference angle is 40 degrees, but it's positive there. Now, the cosine of 440, you subtract 360, you go once around, and you'll have 80 degrees. It's really the cos of 80. That's positive. And there's the cos of 40. Now, there's an identity that goes with this um, cosine. And, wow, we'd like this to be sine. Cos sine and sine cos, I think it's actually not exactly like that. It's sine cos cos sine. But we could change this, the cos of 80 degrees, it's really the sine of 10 degrees. Now, wow, now we're really close to an identity in that, that we see on our um, trig identity uh, sheet. And it goes the sine of an angle times the cosine of an angle minus the cosine of that same angle times the sine of the angle. And let's see. Now, you see, I've organized it. I've just changed the order, and it looks exactly like an identity in on the worksheet that goes, um, uh, sorry, on your formula sheet, sine, cos, cos, sine. And this is called the difference the sine of alpha minus beta is equal to the sine of alpha, the cos of beta, minus the cos of alpha times the sine of beta. So that means if you've got all of this, you can rewrite it as just the sine of 40 minus 10 degrees. And hey, that's the sine of 30 degrees. And you don't even need a calculator. You have to show this triangle. There's 30 degrees and opposite over hypotenuse. That's why the answer is one half. So there's that question all done.